fellas. So you're telling me you can only give our guys 45 hours? That brings them to about there. Gentlemen, that's not acceptable. Whoa, whoa, guys. Hey, power is everything. I... Power is everything. What do you mean? Without it, they don't talk to us. They don't correct their trajectory. They don't turn the heat shield around. I... We got to turn everything off. Now. They're not going to make it to re-entry. What do you mean, everything? With everything on, the LEM draws 60 amps. At that rate, in 16 hours, the batteries are dead, not 45. And so's the crew. We got to get them down to 12 amps. Oh. Well, How many? You can't run a vacuum cleaner on 12 amps, John. We got to turn off. We have to turn off the radars, cabin heater, instrument displays, the guidance computer, the whole smack. Whoa, guidance computer. What if they need to do another burn? Gene, they won't even know which way they're pointed. The more time we talk down here, the more juice they waste up there. I've been looking at the data for the past hour. That's the deal. That's the deal. Okay, John. The minute we finish the burn, we'll power down the limb. All right. Now, in the meantime, we're going to have a frozen command module up there. In a couple days, we're going to have to power it up, use nothing but the reentry batteries. Never been tried before. Hell, we've never even simulated it before, Gene. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. I want people in our simulators working reentry scenarios. I want you guys to find every engineer who designed every switch, every circuit, every transistor, and every light bulb that's up there. Then I want you to talk to the guy in the assembly line who actually built the thing. Find out how to squeeze every amp out of both of these goddamn machines. I want this mark all the way back to Earth with time to spare. We never lost an American in space. We're sure as hell not going to lose one on my watch. Failure is not an option. 